Welcome to a Command & Conquer Remastered Cast Between in the green Trianager with Nod versus Jamie in the red with Nod as well. In this tournament game it's around 3 and the AOD like Titan since season 12 tournament thing. Right. Both going for Nod so not a lot to talk about there. And who is first? It is Jamie who is slightly faster with their eco. Officer is out ever so slightly faster. Like half a second maybe? Anyways, this one is more efficient though than this one. This one having to go all the way around. But the north player will have more efficient harvesters here than here. Like here and here. So it will balance out quite well. Then third ref out over there, second only, there is the third, okay. So slightly delayed because of the silo of course, and going down. Right, so seemingly going for this field. I mean yes, this is the like next pit, pit stop, but uh, you would assume they're going here then. And flamethrowers just shooting each other, okay. Getting scouting here with the minigunner is very nice. Know about. They just know about the refinery for now. And possibly airstrip next because it has been a while since I saw anything on this side. Airstrip here is, is also likely since plus 5 power now minus 25. Okay, there it is. Slightly lower down, so also probably just in order to spy that this way. Maybe. And there it is indeed, okay. So, slightly faster for Jamie once again. But still pretty even all around. Next, a refinery, that one is significantly faster. I say, when like, I assume the other one is going to come up like in a couple of seconds. Anyways, Jamie scouting is not amazing yet, but will be quite good in the future and actually no you're now one ref behind so that is an, indeed a little bit slow at least you didn't place your airship there right anyways buggy over here has been driven away so that's not gonna be a problem right now in the middle you might be able to do a little bit of damage to the enemy officer and this is very nice getting to this field first it, well, allows you to like fortify the position with turrets and things like that. And this is like one of the most important fields in the match just because of how big it is. Yes, size does matter in this case. Um, however, like losing power plant, we'll probably lose a silo as well now. And there it goes, you're back there. Double airstrip already a little greedy. Especially because like yeah sure you're on like five refs. But these are like relatively small fields both. And look at those army numbers. That is very nice. And that on just one airstrip. Right. One bike, maybe two were mixed in for Jamie as well. So those should be dealing very good damage against the buggies. But with these numbers buggies should have done a very good job. Turret to defend as well. Okay. And now on their 6th ref. Okay, this is just 5 over here. With this one being like, not great, because this one will become very inefficient very soon. And this one, pretty much the same thing. Because there is no Tiberium left over here. Not that there ever was Tiberium there, but um, yeah. Oh well. Anyways. Eco for Jamie, but... Ahead by like 4,000 ish, and finally a better efficiency harvester. Right. Buggies in the middle should be cleaned up by Jamie quite easily. And army numbers in general just looking good for them. Not sure what those buggies are doing there specifically. I mean, it's not as if they're being attacked right now, so having them in the fight would be better. And going in with a couple of buggies, however, like two buggies shouldn't be able to accomplish anything there, except scout. And you went straight, straight through it, Harvester. Do things like have 
Oh, that's probably part of the animation that it's coming out and then it spawns a new harvester on that posi position or something. Not really sure how that works. Anyways, fighting in the middle. It's like pretty even. There are still some bikes mixed in for Jamie, so they should be winning that fight. And like most of the units for Trionage aren't even engaging anyways, so yeah, they really should be winning that fight. Now, refinery. Should it go down? Yes. And it is sold off, but kind of sold off, so it is destroyed. Right. Units over here, though. Those are looking good. What is Jamie able to do? Launch a counterattack, because that is a very good defense. Taking down that construction yard. Pulls the strand on the charger. Just run back and, well, try and save everything over here. Just the refinery is not the most important thing, honestly. And you are taking some shots by the buggies in the meantime, which isn't great. But maybe you're able to run in here in the meantime. Flamethrowers for the turrets and then, like, buggies for the rest. Not really. Uh, yeah, kinda. Kinda really. And there is the second airstrip, right. For Trayonja, of course. Jamie already had their second. And Refinery will stay up for now. Maybe a little bit lucky, maybe not. And a lot of bikes coming in. Well, what do you have against those flamethrowers then, if you've just got bikes coming in? Well, minigunners, which kind of get countered by flamethrowers as well. However, as long as your minigunners are dealing enough damage, it's fine. And in the middle, once again, fighting with both players not engaging with most of their units. And now in, run in, now. With just one or two bikes. Just kill it. And good job. You got the kill on the refinery with the harvester included. That means no more eco for them. From that harvester at least. And having the fight close to your turret is also very good for your attrition against like these buggies. Okay, right. A couple of minigunners shouldn't be able to do anything. But might be able to... And over here, the refinery should stay up. So, yeah. Oh well. Anyways, by now, Jamie's all expanded all the way over here. So yes, they did have to sell off the refinery. Stupid game. Anyways, and the sell-off is because of uh, this engineer. Because, yeah, it was not actually being damaged. And a couple of light tanks coming in as well. How fun. And even though, like, yeah, there are a couple of forces over here for Trionaja. Like, what do they have to defend against this? Not a lot. They sold off their construction yard in order to get that engineer. Well, no. They got that engineer by selling off the construction yard. Not really the reason why they sold it off, of course. If it was, that is stupid and they should have just bought one from the hand of not. Anyways, in the meantime... Attacking the construction yard over here, it should stay up. You've got enough bikes here to defend against those couple of buggies. But then you first need to clean up the buggies and you should probably be repairing. Because it is way too close. And dead. Yeah, that should have stayed up. But it didn't. And does that mean that Jamie is now going to lose? I don't think so. I'm sorry. Uh, inefficient, inefficient, dead and like... Efficient, but soon to be dead. Like, you've got no eco. You're like 60,000 60, versus 40,000 eco. That's not good. Like, yeah, Jamie's kind of ran out over here, but and here, and here. But they've still got the northern field, where they are, like, relatively close. No, actually, this is the closest one. Anyways, yeah, Trionaja gives up game one, with a massive eco lead for Jamie. Game 2 on Clown Alcatraz, between Jamie once again in the red, once again as Nod, versus Trionaja once again in the green, once again with Nod, and slightly faster, wow, good job Trionaja. Anyways, because it is a map we've seen before, because it is a mirror match, and because both players are like doing the same thing, there is not a lot to talk about. Except for the fact, ooh, that was a quick refinery. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel. It just works too well, not to say it. 
I don't want to, but I have to. So let's just see. Flamethrower getting a shot off on the minigunner, which means that no scouting will happen. Some spread out refineries versus close together refineries. So this should maybe be better for like late game. Since by the time that you like mine out all of this and you mine out all of that. That's better than like mining out this section and then having to run further away for both. I guess, maybe. I don't think it actually matters all that much in this case. Oh well. Anyway, down south, Minigunner will survive and will run in. Jamie does know about that Minigunner, at least they could know. And they are in the middle with their third refinery. What is... Trayonaja went for the third at like the home base. Which means that that will run out quite a bit faster for them. What is, well, Jamie has the middle field now to themselves and that home field will not run out as quickly. Just because they're not having as many harvesters on it. Right. What's next? Is it an airstrip? Yay, it is. Who would have thunk it? Right. And then maybe an airstrip here in order to expand to the south field. Maybe. Not sure. One thing is for sure, Trionija is going to the south field. Which makes sense, I mean, harvesting this field is more efficient than these. And both players should know about each other's airstrip, okay. And second refinery on the middle patch. You know what, that's efficient as well. So I don't hate it, I don't. But, well, yeah, there. Trionija now with the like four... Yes, fourth refinery on the south field. Right, so that's going to be a good field for them. Currently just for them, just like Jamie has the like middle field all to themselves. However, yeah, Jamie's army is all the way over there and there and there, but like, oh, nothing is over here. But the uh, refinery will not go down. Nor, so, yeah, doesn't really matter all that much. But still, you did a little bit of harassment damage. And now Jamie is kind of taking a bad fight over here with just a couple of buggies. Versus like a better number of buggies from the enemy. Over here, triple buggy harassing as well. But uh, yeah, once again, it shouldn't do a lot. Since the enemy should be able to just pull some forces close by. And second airstrip and no second airstrip might be here in order to get to this field. Because he double ref over there. And actually going to middle. Ooh, interesting. Going all in on five refs. Okay, sure. Let's see it, Jamie. Does mean that they, uh, well, they were ever so slightly ahead in eco. As in like two, three hundred. And now they've got like another two and a half grand from the sell-off. So, through all of that, they should have a better production capability, I guess. They're able to sustain the production for longer. So, because of that, an attack on the south side where they should be able to take down one ref, and it is including the harvester, just barely. No defenses, or at least not enough defenses here for the Trionager. So they might be able to take down another ref. I don't think that would be with the harvester included in that case. And over here, well, their fight isn't amazing, but they're holding on, and now they should be able to take a good fight with all of these forces. Once they do, or if they do, then this refinery looks kind of exposed. Over here, indeed, refinery went down, harvester did not. And, oh, harvester, harvester, harvester. Halfway dead already. Not going to die yet. This one might, however. But not trapped well, so it's not going to be a big deal. Over here, now, construction yard sell off. And now in minus power. Right. Production has been slowed. Minus 60 power, that is a big deal. So, in the middle, fight is going well for Jamie. Down south, well, everything is already being sold off. Trayonaja knows it. They have lost this one, sadly. And you didn't even get your last buggy. And this time, slightly more eco for Jamie. Game 3 between Trayonaja in the green and Jamie here in the red. In 
on like four pools. Once again, a not mirror, if I remember correctly. And it seems like I did. So, yeah, well, neither player like moving their construction yard much. It looks like Jamie moved there's like one spot, maybe. Um, yeah, but like not a lot. Anyways, that means like once again, like pretty much a meta strategy as well. There, the refinery, there, the refinery. Okay. And Jamie, actually the one with a slightly faster, like, refinery unload. With it now being done, and this one now being done. So, 3-3 three three now in ref count. Slightly better KD for Jamie as well. And scouting for 300 giant knock rate. Scouting for Jamie, not amazing either. And this one is not going to get through, so it shouldn't become any better. Right? Yes. Playing through it in the middle, just shooting the ground, but that's of course, hey, damaging the other one. Wow, good job. Anyways, both now once again going for an airstrip, I would assume, because otherwise we would have seen a fourth ref by now. And or power plant, because they're both on 5 power, now on minus 25 for Trianager, and now minus 25 for Jamie as well. With both of them getting their uh, airstrip up. And Jamie, apparently with the like faster power plant production, because uh, yeah, they didn't lose any HP through uh, being in low power. Whereas Trinaja lost like one HP on everything. Anyways, buggy numbers seemingly better for Trinaja now, but uh, yeah, if they lose this one, all of a sudden that's not true. And if they fight on the left side in like Jamie's base, it should not be true either. Also, by now it's actually 6 to 5 in favor of Jamie, 7 to 5. Anyways, Jamie also spidering on over southwards faster because uh, that's another ref for Trianaja. Which means that this field is going to be depleted quite, quite quickly. Three refs on it, though this one is like mixing in this one as well. Like starting with this field, which is the least efficient field it could have chosen pretty much. So, not exactly great either, to have it go to this one. And Jamie now on the big field. The reason why some people even move their construction yard downwards at the start. Just to get to this field first. Which, well, with how big it is, yeah, that is a good place to have your base. Or at least have your base close enough that you get there quickly. Anyways, now in the middle of the map, four versus four buggies and one flamethrower for Trionaja as well. One bike mixed in though now for Jamie, so they should have the better fight if the bike is not like microed down. And currently it is not being microed though, a little bit maybe. Not really. But the bike is gone, okay. And this fight over here is going quite well for Jamie. Jamie now also with the second airstrip already. Whereas Trionaja still has to first get the refinery over here. Nope, actually going for airstrip first. Okay, sure. I mean, I don't hate it. You need the production, but you can't keep up the production, which is a little bit annoying. But it's fine. Getting the ref here then, most likely. Maybe there, but no. I would assume it's here-ish. Anyways, down south, Jamie does, well, should lose this one buggy. Nope, won't. Right. And, well, what are the players going for next? Well, I would hope Trionager is going for more eco next. But they keep producing units, so that production is slowed down, and oh, that looks dangerous. Jamie going to the enemy side with their buildings. Silo already there, might just go for the... <laughs> Hand of Nod and maybe even a refinery after. I mean, that would be a little bit greedy, but it could happen. And over here, a lot of buggies for Trianaja, but they shouldn't be able to stop this with the buggies coming in from Jamie, and there is the more sensible play. Not getting a refinery in the enemy base, but rather a turret, which will be able to drive away those buggies. 
would still want to see like if you find any close to the enemy. What do you find any do? Dude, that is of course not a good idea. This is better. I just want it. There's nothing wrong with that. Anyways. Uh, now I'm like 105 power, so this one wasn't necessary yet. But if they wanted to get up more turrets, it would have been. And... Well, turret being repaired should be able to hold off those buggies quite well. And in the middle, it seems like they're not really engaging. I, okay, I know it's not, not really like taking the piss, but like if you don't sell it, it kind of is. But I also think it's not that inefficient compared to a normal one. I don't remember because you never see it. This looks like tacking up for SSM, right? I think so. And I am all for it, yes. In the middle of the map, just sitting there. And SSM is really not a bad idea. You can like, sit them over here and you can hit these buggies. The other way around is not possible. Because buggies don't have such a range. So it would be great to see that. And just keeping it around is not a bad idea either. I mean, it's 200 power. And yes, it costs you a little more compared to 200 power in just normal power plants. But it's probably not worth selling it in order to then buy new power plants. Anyway, started being a little bit stupid, maybe. Fighting up on the harvester. Not really sure. Anyways, Obelisk of Light is here now. So, it's time to just say goodbye to everything here for Trionager. Officer going down, didn't get saved by the <laughs> refinery. Normally you would, like, see that as trap, but uh, it was on such low HP that it kind of would have been saved. Had it gone in there. And now Trionager has to move in in the middle, maybe. Uh, they kind of do, yeah. Just because, what else are they able to do? Down south is going to be eco for Jamie soon. And the northern parts, they will run out of eco at some point. And that point is going to be earlier than Jamie is going to run out of the south side. Communication center is also out for Jamie, so they shouldn't be like caught out by any sneaks if they do happen. And did the game speed up again? It kind of feels... Yeah, oh no, that, that's the speed up. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen very soon, if it didn't happen yet. Anyways. Turret now out to defend on a, in a like kind of weird position, honestly. But it's fine. And down here. Not really something Trionaja is ever going to be able to push. Well, ever. Not anytime soon, at least. But okay, it's fine. Up north, they are now trying to go for the construction yard, but they shouldn't be able to get that. Buggies and bikes and turrets are closed, so yeah, those couple of buggies were cleaned up quite easily. In case you are wondering, it's like 56,000 versus like 48,000 eco right now, so it's a quite a big lead for Jamie. And hey, you need to sell that if it does look like it's going down, but it's not going to. And yeah, more than 200, 300 power left over for Jamie now. So even if it had gone down, it wouldn't have hurt all that much. Obelisk would have stayed up, so no big deal really. And like expanding forward with your uh, like power plant, like please tell me you're going for a temple of nod somewhere. You've got like 2000 in the bank, you're getting up like 400 plus excess power. Isn't temple of nod like 400 or 500 power? I think so. So honestly, you could see it, but uh, not with the power plants going down again. Oh, that hurts. I really want to see it in like a serious tournament game. Just seeing someone get nuked. Oh well. Bikes, buggies for Jamie now kind of moving in, but oh, now you've got to watch out. You don't have anything close except for the turret and one buggy. Two buggies, three buggies, and one hand of nod, two hands of nod, I guess. Those need to do a lot of damage because otherwise your construction yard is not going to stay up. You've got 4,000 in the bank, so you do have quite a lot to repair with, but it wasn't enough. You tried your best, but nope, 
you just couldn't keep it alive, which also means that we will sadly not see a Temple of Nod. Oh well, too bad. Anyways, over here, once again going for the advanced power plant. It might look like a good target, but it kinda isn't. I mean, yeah. It looks like a target you would want to take down, but... Sure, taking it down in this case actually would be worth it, since Jamie doesn't have that much access, access power. They bought another obelisk, so they only have like 82 power left over. Now, over here, well... Airship and power plants, refineries, all that stuff is left, because no construction yard for Treonija either. But they also like kinda ran out of steam. They're like 15k behind in total harvest. And they've not got anything in the bank. Eco up here is going to run out relatively soon. This has already pretty much run out. This like thing has also run out. And over here, yeah, you can't really mine here very easily either. I mean, hey, SSM, there it is, finally. Another one coming in as well. And over here, well, you do have a good number of buggies. But you've got to watch out because over here, your turret is slowly going down. Airstrip might be the next target and SSM, don't do that. That's stupid, you're trying to be saved by the obelisk. Is it going to be enough? It is not. It hurts. But with 5k in the bank, do you think that Jamie really think it hurts? I think it's like, ow, that hurt. More than that? No, I don't think so. Anyways. Buggy numbers still looking quite decent for Trenager, but remember, as long as they are able to keep some harvest here, it's going to be okay. Not great, but I guess somewhat okay. As soon as like this is denied even just a little bit by Jamie, then yeah, Trenager is pretty much dead. No Tiberium is left over there. By now, and that means that, yeah, this is the only thing. Now your only, like, efficient, or, like, somewhat efficient refinery is gone. This one is also, like, eh, this one really isn't great, but uh, it's the best one you've got. This is not efficient either. Losing your SSM like that. Not sure how much they cost, actually. It's, like, 1500, I assume? 1500, 2k? Might be a little cheaper, though. And airship gone. No production on this side. That means everything has to come from up here. So you've got to keep some units here to defend it. Because you can't really like send everything here. And now your eco here will be denied quite easily. And that looks like a sell off for Trionaja. Which means that it's 3 to 0 in this best of 5 for Jamie. And last ref will be sold off right about now. So, well done that you made it this far into the video. Consider watching the video in your lower left. But that's all I'm going to have for you today. And I'll see you in another video. Bye. That means that Jamie will have to face off against the winner of Twizy vs. Uncle DJ in round 4.